This video is about the Lockerbie bombing on Solstice 1988 and how, why and by whom it was ordered from out of Switzerland and by the same organization that financed Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. The financing and organizing of the Islamofascism by the Nazi Templars from Octagon, Switzerland, who basically won the Second World War and Octagon's great eminences like Swiss, François Genoux, a personal friend of Adolf Hitler, connecting the dots. Which led to 270 dead in Lockerbie, Scotland, ordered by the Swiss Octagon who provided logistics and the timer of the bomb by the Swiss Mebo company from Zurich, Switzerland. So here you can see some parts of the Swiss timer by Mebo that uh, survived the, uh, the Lockerbie bombing. You all see the Templars V here in the, uh, in the logo of the Mebo Limited. Here it says Libya. Um, I managed to infiltrate the Octagon being there when 20 years later Octagon members discussed the Swiss Lockerbie bombing and I could give you names of important members who were present that day, members of the industrial elite owning factories in Octagon, Switzerland and steering world events. But I need protection for me and my family, a safe place to live under a new identity. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard those grown-up influential men say how Lockerbie was a solstice sacrifice on December 21st. And present to the Führer and Octagon because of the 88 in 1988 standing for Hail Hitler and also for Octagon of course as the H is the, um, the eighth letter in the alphabet. How could these sincere looking Swiss talk such an occult rubbish over the death of uh, 270 lives? So here you can see the logo again of the Mebo Limited Telecommunications. Of course here it's octagonal, octagon. And here's the V of the Templars. I mean, it's there. They believe in it. You know, it's it's hidden. Now that I know the extent of evil in Switzerland and the other realm in which Swissy believes, I understand how these wealthy men had achieved achieved all in life, materially and financially, and had not satisfied their hunger for more yet or had they gotten that far starting off with the occult as a backup in the first place this was exactly the same type of nazi occult heinrich himmler hermann goering julius streicher and an entire nazi gang used to talk about as i wasn't really invited unfortunately I couldn't pick up the entire conversation, but enough to make you shiver and have your blood freeze in your veins. You will not fully understand this video and the Lockerbie bombing if you haven't seen my previous films with the proofs of Switzerland behind World War II. So, so let's get to some facts. So this is the Wikipedia page about, here it says Lockerbie, the Penham Flight 103. And it has been discovered that the timer of the Lockerbie bomb was Swiss made by a Zurich based company called Mebo for Meister and Bollier. Meister for ME and Bollier for BO in Mebo. And uh, if you go here to the chapter, well, it's all interest, interesting. Civil inv investigation here, click on it. Uh, here, civil in investigation and uh, here it is here it is the timer was allegedly traced uh, through its Swiss manufacturer Mebo 
to the Libyan military and Mabo employee and the Mabo's owner Edwin Bollier so he testified at the trial that it was Swiss made you know, and they always got their dirty little fingers in it so here he is Edwin Bollier one of the founders and here the Pan Am flight 103 bombing and here's Erwin Meister, the other one, you know, the Lockerbie bombing, you can read it. Uh, well, they were in it. And here's the possibility of co-conspirator charge. Well, that's interesting how they, you know. So it says, uh, during Bollier's testimony, it was revealed that the prosecutor had been considering charging him with the same conspiracy to murder. So they didn't. They always let the Swiss get away with it, you know. It's not appropriate to libel him as a co-conspirator. Well, they are the main ones behind it, you know. And so here it even goes all the way to uh, Pretoria, in South Africa, uh, as Switzerland was comp was entirely in that as well, um, backing up the apartheid and and with the uh this the swiss chemical industry with uh dr basson uh, dr death i made a video about it uh it goes very deep and it's all swiss and they always get away with it you know yeah swiss he always has the dirty little fingers in it somehow and if not for switzerland and the swiss precision timer device for bombs there wouldn't have been any lockerbie tragedy so I already did a film about it, so here's François Junou. You really have to see the film, like Auschwitz made in Switzerland. Um, François Junou was a noted Swiss financier and a principal benefactor of the Nazi diaspora through the Odessa network in support of Middle Eastern terror groups during the post-World War II, 20th century. He was considered the Swiss financier of the Third Reich. He even was a personal friend of Mr. Adolf Hitler and the Algerian liberation from Palestine, Arab liberation. Well, go and have a look at it yourself. Um, these are the men, the great eminences of Octagon, uh, connecting the dots between Swiss Nazism and the uh, Arab terrorist attacks, like the one in Lockerbie. Very dangerous people. And there was another one, I even, he threatened me once. There was, uh, I'm going to show him, I'm going to show him here. So here's the other one, um, Islamist. Um, and they founded the uh, um, El Taqwa Bank. They're all Nazis, Islamists, you know, here it says, the El Taqwa Bank in Switzerland. His name was um, Ahmed Huber al Swissri. Ah, Swiss. Yeah, Francois Genoux. That was his friend. And there are more of them. I can give you the names, as I told you before. But I need, I need security for my family and me. And these guys are always protected by the Swiss Nazi police. They're 100% in it. And the Swiss Nazi judiciary system. They're all in it. And then after the um, the Lockerbie bombing, this, uh, they tried to um, to blame it all on the Iran Air Flight 655. It was shot down the same year, 1988, in July, just before, a couple of months before. And um, so to spark the um, the um, the war against Islam, you know, by Octagon and by. Um, these Swiss guys and the guy behind uh, Phileas Walder, the guy behind um, uh, Albert Pike and his idea of a third world war. This is what's happening and they never get, they always get away with it. But it goes deeper still. This is the worldwide Swiss industrial military complex of which I've already done a film on, on my other channel, Gure, which you can see here. You must see it, otherwise you won't understand the Lockerbie bombing. 
By the way, the ignition system, the ignition devices of the German U-boat torpedoes of World War II were also Swiss made, to which I lost my grandfather, who was an officer in the Royal Navy and was torpedoed in 1942. And just as the Templars had an enormous fleet, the Swiss Mebo company selling bomb timers to Islamic terrorists also had a fleet. So could you imagine that so-called neutral peaceful country, you know, in the Alps, with no oceans or no seas attached to it, having an enormous fleet? They do, actually. I already showed that in my videos. Well, that's because of the Templars, because the country was founded by the Templars, who brought the Templars' treasures to, to Switzerland, with which they founded the Swiss banks. So here it says, Mebo bought two vessels off the coast of, um, of Holland, uh, Radio North Sea. <laughs> yeah, timers for Libya, timers for East Germany, criminal complaint, false testimony, a Lockerbie trial, etc., etc. Yeah. The Swiss businessman Erwin Meister and Edwin Bolli. Yeah, it's about the Lockerbie trial. And Bollier said, I was present when two such timers were included in bomb cylinders. And <laughs> they never got punished for it, you know. <laughs> They're so deep into it. Yeah, the timers for East Germany, etc., etc. It's also interesting to see that the Lockerbie Court was in the Netherlands. The, uh, the thing with the Radio North Sea. Uh, and that even goes deeper, I'm going to show that in a minute. It was also in the Netherlands, so uh, they probably completely bought the cords. We were all, you know, Switzerlanders of the Templars, and out of the Templars came the Freemasons, well, you know, the judges, and what else should I say? Well, here's Swiss here again, a Swiss engineer Edwin Bollier and Erwin Meister of the, uh, the Mebo, yeah, Mebo company, and this is 20 years before the uh, before the Lockerbie bombing. And they owned at least two ships called the Mebo 1 and the Mebo 2. That were the Swiss owned pirate radio ships, you know, like the Templar ships, the pirates, of the Swiss owned Radio North Sea International off the coast of Holland in international waters in the wild 60s and 70s, where the Swiss Mebo broadcasts have sent even encrypted messages to international terrorists and Swissy finally even bombed their own ship in 1971 most likely by accident while preparing a Swiss made bomb with a Swiss made Lockerbie timer for somebody else now here it says the 1971 bombing they even <laughs> bombed their own ship here it is you know wild things going on in these days there. The 1971 uh, bombing. Uh, well, it's all here. You can read it yourself. There was even a bomb in here, in their own ship. So what most people don't know, that Swiss Mebo here has been more than once been involved in bombings. Well, they didn't discuss that in the, uh, in the court hearings uh, after the Lockerbie bombing, didn't they now? And at least two times too many bombings to be just wiped away in the Lockerbie bombing as a minor role. This is also why there have never been any terrorist attacks against Switzerland. Because they are fed by Switzerland through Octagon's great eminences like Swiss François Genoux and Ahmed Huber al Swissri, who linked Nazism to Islamic terrorism, founding the Swiss Al Taqwa Bank with an Arab name, and Phileas Valder, the real power behind Albert Pike in his goal of World War III between Islam and Christianity. So here you can read it, how Radio Norsi International, by the Swiss, and all those great eminences of Octagon behind it, they were sending out encrypted messages uh, by, uh, for and by the terrorists. Even even the IRA, you can read it here, and Gaddafi, uh, all these things going on. 
and nobody thought about Swissy behind it. You know? Yeah, under the voice of peace, you know, like Switzerland, it's clean, it's neutral, they never did anything. So that was in the 60s and 70s, you know, the voice of peace and yeah, sending out uh, encoded messages, you know, to, to uh, with Swiss timers and to, um, to do some bombing campaign somewhere. That was what, what, what it's all about. And Swiss, you always get away with it. So uh, maybe somebody should sue him. The, the, the relatives of the people, you know, who, uh, who died in the Lockerbie bombing, go and sue Switzerland. They're, they're the ones behind it. 100% sure. Watch all my movies. Take you a few days and you'll see. It says, it's well known that Gaddafi was funding and supplying bombs and arms to the IRA, who were very active in the 1970s throughout Britain, setting bombs and killing innocent people with Swiss timers, of course. The true purpose of the establishment of Radio Norsi International has often been hinted at, but never confirmed. There are numerous rumors about how it was sending out coded messages to foreign agents via its transmitters, using shortwave, etc uh, etc et uh, then at the end uh, of the ships um, they were delivered to Libya the two ships the Swiss ships the Templar ships after a while of mucking around with them as radio ships they were eventually blown up as part of the Libyan Navy target practice <laughs> so here again on Wikipedia about the Radio North Sea so the Mebo 2 was renamed El Fatah <laughs> and the other one, uh, well, they all got uh, Arab names and uh, yeah, that's, well, it was called Angela, the angel. Hmm, what kind of angel do they mean now, eh? So these Swiss ships, you know, uh, in, in the North Sea between England and the Netherlands, uh, it's, you see the connection here? What's going on? The Mebo company from Switzerland even sold timers to the East German uh, Stasi or Staatssicherheit. And we know now that Arab and German left-wing terrorists like the RAF and Bader Meinhof were trained and supplied by the Stasis on orders of the Swiss Octagon using Swiss timer devices by Mebo. Of course, all these young left-wing so-called terrorists were misled and indoctrinated by Octagon behind the screens for the purpose of Switzerland's global chess game and their banks and their Templars. So this is a, um, this is a great film worth seeing made by the Germans a couple of years ago, Der Bader Meinhof Complex. I think it's about two hours long. It's, it's very well done. Uh, so go and have a look at it if you can find it. And uh, anyone seeking judicial help from the Swiss state will just lose his time because the Swiss police is entirely corrupt and Nazi minded, defending the interest of the motherland octagon only at all cost, usually stalling time because Switzerland are a bunch of organized criminals with the country. Yes, the Arabs did it, but the Swiss masterminded Lockerbie, the proofs are, are all there, <laughs> yet nobody talks about it.